Well, hello there, YouTube. I don't know if you can see because this Hero 4 session doesn't have the best dynamic range, but the little woman standing there, and there's Lee Lee, and it's a little collection of junk. But it's Sunday, the 11th of June, and it's been raining all day. It stopped here an hour or so ago. So I started with the Hero hat session hat cam. Look at that, there's blue skies back that way. But anyway, we're going to go out here and work on the little Hyundai element for a little bit. The first thing we're going to do is, uh, is a valve adjustment on it. And it has to be done, that's my kid, it has to be done stone cold. <clears throat> like a motorcycle, which seems odd. It's nothing, it's just, you know, two covers, coil packs, and the harness. Move your power steering hose out of the way. There's a, a another uh, bracket here that needs to be removed on the side cover or valve cover, and then the uh, the uh, PVC hose. Pop all that stuff out of the way and come straight up with the valve cover and take the spark plugs out. And you know how they want you to do it is. Um, you know come through the fender well and turn the crank over but you can actually with the plugs out you can use the power steering pump and uh and turn it the engine is actually facing this way this is intake and exhaust and the engine rotate which would be considered counterclockwise the engine is running forward as it sits in the vehicle but from intake to exhaust it's running it's, the cams are turning this way. It's running counterclockwise. Just as suspected. Kept getting a, a cylinder one misfire and also a cylinder two misfire. Now you techno geeks will all key in that tight valves can't trigger an FI code, but it can. It can detect a misfire. You can, if you can hear that, but without even sticking a gauge in there, there's free play in three. I've never got a cylinder three code. Cylinder one, no clearance, zero. How this thing didn't burn a valve out is beyond me. But as you can see, it's um, it's tap it lock nut style adjusters. No shims, roller rockers. So my suspicions were correct. And yes, tight valves can trigger a misfire due to a stumbling of the engine. It absolutely will happen. All right, time for adjustment. Well, that was pretty nuts. Every single exhaust valve, the right hand number one had zero clearance. The right hand number two um, exhaust had no clearance. I mean, like it took an eighth of a turn before the tappet wasn't actually in contact with the valve. How that didn't burn a valve out, I have no idea. But all the rest of the intakes, the rest of them were way under spec. And these things tend to go tight on the exhaust and loose on the intake. The intakes were about where the exhausts are supposed to be. <laughs> Crazy. I'm supposed to do this every 110,000. Well, it's got two, two something on it now. <laughs> Thing runs smooth as a kitty cat. Two eleven six sixty six. Well, that's a scary number to end up with. That ain't cool. And I'm about to go on a test ride. All right, I'm gonna grab my phone. I'm gonna go for a little rip. Now I gotta diagnose whatever that thing is with the front end. So. This is only one step of the <clears throat> of the procedure today. I forgot. I got to uh, clear the codes. <laughs> there she's clear. Scroll down here and boot out. Are you sure? Yes. ODB two. All right. These scan tools. Now this is not a this is not a very expensive one. This is only 
like 70 bucks or something and that's been a few years ago but fantastic thing to have when you need to read codes in a moment's notice very nice to have oh sorry i didn't turn you guys on my son calls me as i'm going hey happy so i'm going down the road and and literally talk to me the whole time he's got some ktm specification questions i need to run inside and look it up i've got a bunch of manuals on a thumb drive from back when we were a ktm dealer so i need to look those up and call him back he's working on a 525 quad with a uh, racing four stroke ktm engine in it it's got need some specs i'm going for a ride what do you think of that leo huh what do you think of that what do you think of that <laughs> all right i'm gonna take the dr so i won't be long i'm just gonna take a loop around the the big loop around all right oh i always am we'll see you here in just a little bit it hasn't rained here in a couple hours at least and you can see the sidewalk and stuff is dry and um what the hell i'm gonna take the dr for a little rip don't you hate it when you have a pair of socks that won't stay up, that keep sliding down and balling up around your ankle? <laughs> I got a pair of those on right now. Must be an old pair. There's the little woman up there waving me by. Leo looking like, don't go. <laughs> the road's still wet, but it's not muddy. It's been dry so long that, uh, I don't think the uh, the ground saturated enough. It soaks it in pretty quick. But I wouldn't ride one of my Harleys down through here. I guess I could. I could do the street glide because it needs a good bath. Well, that was a nice little ride. It's about <laughs> Kelly trimmed that thing, but still not enough. But uh, oh, if I don't get my foot up, I end up with a cramp in my toes. I'm standing in a hole on the other side here. I'm trying not to let my helmet scratch against the trees there. Honda, are you telling me that I still need to do my... Oh, it's just some advertisement. But anyway, just put the DR away and wind down this day. It's starting to get pretty late. What is it now? Yeah, it's 7.30. All right. Well, hello there, YouTube. Just out for a little little stroll around the around the yard area. Oh, man. How did such a nasty day turn into such a beautiful day? It was raining the hard earlier. Moon up there. Man, look, look here. Look out here. This is gorgeous. Beautiful. The old guinea fowl are going nuts out there. So pretty. I love how the sun at the end of the day hangs on those hills. Even though we're well in the shade. You get that beautiful sunset. Look how you can see the sun at the top of top of the trees. And you can see the level of the of the uh, mountains. <laughs> That's the slowest zooming camera. I think it was slower than heck. Man, it's beautiful out there, though. So, I hope you guys had or are having a wonderful day. Everything's great with you and yours and whatnot. I got out here to sit by the old by the old tractor. There we go. We haven't done much with this thing, have we? No, I'm still waiting to get my plugs. Yeah, we need to get spark plugs, wires, and probably spark plugs. I think it's probably got four different spark plugs in it, too. Speaking of cars, we've got the Honda running absolutely fantastic. It's had this weird little stumble when it's cold until it warms up. And I started kicking an engine code and got suspicious of the valves, and I was right. Yeah, they was tight little suckers. Yeah, she's all kinds of happy now. Now, trying to figure out what that event we had with the front end, 
Ryan was going, he goes, you need to make sure your struts, you don't have a bad strut up front there. He goes, you know, it's kind of like a tire out of balance once, once they get the hopping, you know, it kind of goes out of control. Because once we got off the freeway, it went away, and then we took back roads and never came back. And it was crazy windy. And he's going, did you hit any holes or anything like that while you're going down the freeway? And I know, all I know is it was, the headwind was phenomenal. But who knows? And he goes, well, if that engine wasn't running smooth and, you know, you got a strut going out and you hit a bump, you know, the stress of going against the hill, he goes, you know, they can get this weird verberation thing going on. So, who knows? Well, I ran it pretty quick down down the highway here on my little test ride. And she was fine. Jeez, it's got more power now, too. I didn't realize it was lacking anything, but I do now. <laughs> And the smoothness, it was so smooth, I kept thinking it was dying. I was going down the road, and I'm thinking, well, it just shut off. I can't believe how much smoother that made it run. But idiot, I should have done that a long time ago. I'm actually out of mileage. I should have done it anyway. But you know, the book says, you know, the manual says every 110,000 or if they get noisy. Well, the problem is the exhausts go tight. Uh, I, I love the, the people that come in and go, can you listen to my valves to see if they need to be adjusted? Um, I can listen to see if I hear any loose ones, but that's not the ones you need to worry about. That's them little tight suckers you yeah. have to worry about. Tight ones cause severe engine damage, or at least head damage. And on most vehicles, vehicles taking the head off is, is pretty major. Very easy on that little Honda, but still, I don't want any part of that. But anyway, so other than that, I've been having a pretty chill day. Took a little DR for a little rip. That was Here fun. Comes all the sisters. <laughs> I know. I see them all filing out one by one. They, we had the front door open. They're all one by one going, um, wait a minute. They left the house. Everybody left. They're gone. There's Madison slowly moseying along there. <laughs> Let me see if I can smell where you went. <laughs> I don't know what she's got going in there, but it smells phenomenally good. <laughs> hungry anyway and then you smell food coming out of the chicken or the chicken <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't smell good if it's coming out of a chicken <laughs> I'm thinking not <laughs> oh crap <laughs> That doesn't paint a paint a pretty picture, does it? <laughs> oh, oh, Lord have mercy! Oh. <laughs> Out of the kitchen. Yeah. Oh, crud. You guys know, you guys know what I mean. <laughs> oh man. He's hungry. Yeah, so hungry. I'm senile. I know it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hubby, you are funny. So tomorrow, 0% chance of rain, and right now, um, when I took off on the DR from there through until Monday, it goes back to 70% chance of rain, which is unfortunate. It looks like it's going to rain most of the week. I so hate having to cage it every day. I know it. Tomorrow is the only nice day. Yep. I want to so. go to Shahela's and get chicken. Oh, get chicken? Yeah. Well, we'll maybe we'll take it because it's supposed to be in the mid-70s. Maybe we'll take the old Harley. You and I have it. Yeah. Other than taking those short rides. Can't carry them. Oh, they have they saddlebags. They got saddlebags and a rack. I got nets. And yeah. We can pack stuff. Yeah, maybe we can take a ride tomorrow. Yeah. Or drive something to whatever works. You never know. I haven't been to, so. to my sunbirds. I love my sunbirds. I know. Take you guys to the old swap meet thing down there. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, it would. Plus, they're chicken. Mm. Oh, Lord. That's yeah. the best chicken ever. That's as close as cart. you can get to churches and KFC. Yeah. Is there. It's like a mixture between the two. Yeah. Well, oh, it's so good. And we just go up to the deli there and ask ask for it there instead of they have them some warming up in these little kiosk things. And you get a fresh batch every time. Almost. Yeah. Then we go out to the car and then we gorge ourselves. Yeah. And then you're like, like, oh. Yeah, you do much. <laughs> but it is so good. Oh, yeah, it's crazy good. 
<laughs> now I'm not even going to want dinner because I want I want the your, chicken. Your mind's on the chicken, isn't it? Yeah, it is because I love fried Hopefully chicken. Please not the chicken smell. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Crazy. But anyway, I um I really don't have any stories for you today. <laughs> no, not today. We've just been kind of chilling. Yeah. Slept in a little, which was good for hubby because yeah. he needs some sleep. Yeah, she can wake me up till eight o'clock today. I'm like. Took me a while to wake up. Yeah, Madison will wake you up. You don't get to sleep in with Madison. She comes over to my side of the bed and she will claw you. Going, yeah. uh, Mom, it's five o'clock. Yeah. Get up. <laughs> the dogs have alarm clocks built yeah. into them. They know what time it is, whether they need to go potty or whatever it is. Or They just know the ritual. Yeah. Okay, you know, Mom gets up at five and so... She does the food, and then we go for our little potty run, and then we come back in and lay down. Yeah, it's weird how they have some weird internal clock like that. And what and, a trip. Uh, loved them no tears. Trouble and Abby out there roaming around. They're doing a little wander about. I'm not sure where I'm pointing the camera. I'm just kind of pointing in that general direction. Mama, we should probably we, let these kind people yeah, go. And i got to go stir stuff on the stove. All right. Let's, All right. Let's try to do some exploring tomorrow. That'd Goofing be fun. around. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah. Motorcycle, car, whatever we can Whatever we do. Yeah. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. I know I say that every time, but I mean, I truly do. So does Sean. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. And so we will talk to you tomorrow. Same smoke time, same smoke channel. Don't forget to like. Try not to dislike. And hit that <laughs> subscribe button. Dang Skippy. All right. All right, Mama. Out here next to your little old tractor. I know it. I'm going to go dig up something. You can dig a hole somewhere. I know we whether need I need a hole or not. I'm yeah. going to dig a hole. I got some things we need to do, and we're going to use that. Yeah. I wanted to use the little rototiller and put um, the little garden behind the garage oh, yeah. on the back side. All right. All That'll right. be a video. Yeah. You do your own vlog. Put it on your channel. Oh, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys and gals. We'll see you tomorrow. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye now.